so I pretty much spent the whole summer in the van and uh, now it's time to do a few improvements and we're going to do some cabinets. So today we're going to be working on our van kitchen a little bit more. Uh, earlier this year we just finished pretty much kind of like a basic kitchen. We did the bottom cabinets. Um, cost us less than $100 to do it. We're on a budget. So now we're going to work on the upper cabinets that go above what we had here. Um, we have a four foot long cabinet. We've taken the sink out because we're working on it in here. And the four foot tall upper cabinet is going to go right here. It's going to help cover up all these wires and this seam, this Luan that we use for the seam cover. It's going to go over that and uh, this area. It's going to be four foot long, so it's going to go all above the cabinet here and, you know, open up. So again, it, we're trying to do it as budget friendly as we can. So uh, we're going to use some scraps of wood that we've had for building the frame. And then I did buy doors from Ikea, which was great. Uh, they were the best deal really, and they're already finished. All right, here's the door that I got from Ikea. It's a light looking wood. It's not really wood. And uh, that's the back. It's 12 inches tall and 40 inches long. And our upper cabinet area is going to be uh, 48 inches. So it won't quite cover the whole area. So on this end, we'll have like an eight inch open area for a shelf. So the, the door will cover most of it. It'll start, you know, right up here and then go all the way to 40 inches. This light should be able to stay there and be in that opening. And uh, we're going to cut this off. So that'll be inside the cabinet. And like I said, all this stuff then is going to be concealed and uh, should look a lot nicer and we'll store a lot of stuff. So some of the first steps with doing this cabinet is making like little templates for the sides that we're going to cut out of the wood and uh, just to make sure we get a nice fit. Then we'll cut out these pieces out of our wood. We're going to be using some of our leftover plywood from some other projects so we don't have to uh, purchase more wood. But um, we're going to cut one of those for the end here. We're going to go ahead and do one kind of in the middle. So I have kind of a, a divider space and stuff maybe won't roll around as much or something up there. And then one at the 40 inch mark and then one at the 48 inch mark. So like I said, right here at the end, there'll be an open area of approximately seven inches for like a little open end shelf. And here's some of our wood that we have left over from another project. So we're going to be able to cut out all the ends out of this one piece that's left over. Um, it's a little bit thick and heavier than what we need, but like I said, we already had it. So we're going to try to use it. And uh, it should look pretty nice with with this Ikea door. This isn't wood, so this is real durable and can be washed and scrubbed and doesn't get mildewy or anything.
Now, we'll get this other one stood up in here and held on. We decided to try to attempt to build our own cabinet because we figured once we bought a cabinet, we would have to cut the back off and the sides and round it, and there wouldn't be much structure left to it after we were done with doing all that. So to save on weight, we didn't put a back on this. We're just using two nail strips about one by two inch in size to put it, to mount it onto the wall in the van. Okay. There it is. It'll attach to the wall through these. And it will hinge the door off of this. And this will be your lip at the bottom to keep stuff from falling out. That is framed. Then we're getting ready to add a bottom. We're just going to use Luan on the bottom and glue it and nail it so it isn't too heavy. Yep, the sun's going down. They are running to go to their bed. Here's our hinges that we got. They are 75 degree opening hinges that hinge up and lock up so the door will be held open when you're accessing it. For a 40 inch by 12 inch cabinet door, it recommended four hinges for this type of operation where they open up and need to lock in place to hold it open. So we're gonna be installing four. We had to do some notches in the wood to get it to fit nice and tight against the wall. All right, we have the bottom on. We had to cut a little notch so it'll fit flush against the wall also. And now it's time to screw it to the wall. It's gonna go into the purlins, the metal purlins on the wall. All right, so we have our cabinet mounted up here, and this is the door. We don't have any of the wood secured yet. I'm gonna show you inside here. And uh, these hinges will latch to keep the door up. So there the door will stay open. We don't have any of this wood finished. And we had our two mounting points here and one down here that got screwed right into the metal purlins and uh, that should, it's very sturdy. I mean, we pretty much hung on it and it's not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm not gonna be putting real heavy stuff in there. And now you can see our wire chase is up there and uh, that's hidden now inside this cabinet. And then down at the end here, we have this open area little shelf And there's the door. You could probably just put like, you know, little dish towels and so forth up here. It has a little ledge to keep things from rolling out, but I'm not gonna put anything. I'm not gonna put anything real heavy up there. So this isn't a really complicated design. We've never really built cabinets before. Um, but we were able to build this for like $30. And uh, because we had the wood, we did buy the door, we needed to buy the hinges, maybe a little bit of hardware, and we did use a little bit of glue here. But uh, we're going to finish it now. There's wood here that's not finished on the ends. And as you saw inside this little ledge and these ends here that have the color on them, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and finish them. And obviously, you can use probably a little bit thinner wood to do this kind of project. You can see we just have the Luan underneath, and uh, that's going to be plenty sturdy. We glued and nailed it. Um, this was plenty thick for what we're using and to attach the hinges into. 
So, you know, you can kind of play around with this design, whatever stuff you have left over. And uh, now I'm going to show you how I'm going to finish the wood, kind of a little artsy way. Uh, you can cover this. We could cover it with Luan and, and just do it that way. Maybe a little bit of trim up there, but I like doing it a little bit more artsy. So I'm going to finish this wood with some old map looking paper in a kind of a decoupage kind of fashion. So we'll see how that turns out. And you know, we're just showing you what, what we are doing. It's not necessarily the best way. We're not saying we're professionals and made a lot of cabinets before. Uh, we actually have never made any cabinets, but uh, we have built our own house, so we kind of know what we're doing. But uh, this is just a really a cheap way to make a cabinet if you're trying to do it budget friendly and don't have a lot of money to do it professionally. Uh, this was a pretty pretty cheap way. Like I said, probably cost us like thirty dollars. Uh, this door from IKEA was I think eleven dollars. Uh, the hinges were the most expensive. I think they were um, twenty five, <clears throat> and then we needed a little bit of screws. And because we had the wood, no other expense there. If you have to buy wood. You know, it could cost you $50, $60, depending on how much you needed to buy. Um, in the future, we would like to add um, another cabinet back here next to the bed. We have um, like nine inches in between the mattress and the wall. And I did buy some Ikea doors, but we're not going to do that right now. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this one and show you how it looks when we're done. With the cabinet, like I said, I did this kind of old map theme on it and did an antique metal, faux metal trim on the top. So now you can't see any of the wood. I think the cabinet looks fine without any knobs. It opens just fine without needing knobs. So we're probably just going to call it done just like this. And, uh, just to kind of recap it, it's a 48 inch long area. The door came in 40 inches, so this is an eight inch or seven inch opening area, little shelf, and uh, the wood was all scraps. Uh, the door was Ikea, and it for sure cost us less than $50 to make uh, the cabinet and uh, it looks really nice. And that is it for today's video on showing you how we built our upper cabinet in our camper van's kitchen. And as always, thanks for watching our videos and make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already.